Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to uh, module 2 of this course time dependent quantum chemistry. In this module we are continuing discussion of Bohemian mechanics and uh, in Bohemian mechanics we have assumed certain trial function for the wave function which will give me time dependent probability density which is important to have to represent quantum dynamics. And uh, when we have discussed uh, when we have used that trial function in time dependent quantum uh, time dependent Schrodinger equation, we have got uh, one velocity information. What does it mean by this velocity? We will go over it soon, but before we do that we will uh, uh, look at the uh, one pictorial representation of what we have understood so far. This is standard standard quantum mechanics, standard interpretation of quantum mechanics, and this is Bohemian mechanics. It is just a different form of viewing the same problem on a different footings. So, in standard interpretation of quantum mechanics, quantum dynamics is represented in following way. I have a density which is x t dependent and this is space at time t equals t 1 I have certain density let us say I have this density and this is the time axis. So, I will call it and different time I can plot how the densities would look like. So, so what we are seeing here, if we look at look at it carefully with the help of standard interpretation of quantum mechanics, we have to present it in terms of density that is the only way I can have interpretation of the wave function and we see that at different time this is t equals t 2, this is t equals t 3, this is t equals t 4 at different time densities are changing. These are just to for our eye to have a feel how it is changing. This is x axis. So, what we see that densities are changing and that is the way we have to represent the quantum dynamics. This is one dimensional representation one dimension and in terms of space in, 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 in terms of position space. 
uh, that is why it is one dimensional and, um, and, and, and this is the way we, we, we represent the uh, quantum dynamics. On the other hand in Bohemian mechanics we have quantum trajectory. So, I had this initial distribution of the wave function. Uh, I have tried to present this distribution and this distribution to be the same. So, this is my t equals t 1 time and this distribution in Bohemian mechanics I do not have any wave function anymore. Initial distribution can give me different position of the particle, different possible position of the particle and it shows at different time how this individual particles are moving with a velocity each particle will have certain sorry each position will have certain trajectory and these are called quantum trajectories. This is called these are called quantum trajectory. So, in Bohemian mechanics we can directly get certain kind of trajectory equivalent to classical mechanics, but the only difference is that remember we have only one particle and this many trajectory what does it mean? It means that if the particle was at this point there was a possibility because this is the distribution function, distribution function is showing how possible positions are uh, applicable to that particle. The particle exactly where it is I do not know, but there are possible positions and if I pick up one of the possible position what kind of velocity it will have that will be given by the Bohemian velocity which is nothing but the space derivative of the phase function where we have assumed that the wave function had following form. One can argue that instead of taking this kind of form what about if I take this kind of form a x t is fine, but e to the power minus i h cut s x t that is also fine. Probably we will end up with some other interesting information. So, any kind of form one can use. We have used this form because this conveniently leads to certain um, useful information and if I use this kind of form then I get the velocity of individual uh, velocity of the particle for individual possible position initial position. So, if I start with this x naught initial position its velocity as well as the trajectory will be different then x 1 position then x 3 position x 5 position x 6 position all these different positions of initial positions will be um, giving me different uh, trajectory. So, that is the difference between Bohemian mechanics and standard quantum standard interpretation of quantum mechanics and standard interpretation of quantum mechanics will always deal with the wave function and because wave function cannot be observed directly we have to convert it to density and we will see how density is changing as a function of time that is the manifestation of quantum dynamics in standard standard interpretation. In Bohemian mechanics on the other hand we pick up the possible position initial position and then each position will be now giving me individual trajectory and finally all this trajectory collectively shows how they are behaving. So, this is the this is the primary difference between the standard interpretation of quantum mechanics and Bohemian mechanics. We will move forward and we will look at the real part. Now, real part would be this part would be real. Now, this part is real and this part is real and this part is real and remember we are we have removed this exponential term because it is we can take it out. 
So, the real part if I write down the real part is going to be minus a time derivative of the s function equals minus h cut square by 2 m space derivative of a function plus a by 2 m whole square plus v a that is my real part. I will reorganize it plus 1 by 2 m whole square plus v equals h cut square by 2 m a second derivative of a with respect to x. And we will we will write down this equation as follows. This term will assume to be a q term. What does it mean by q term? Will assume to be minus q term. Minus q. So this is nothing but minus q. There is a particular meaning of this q term. We'll get to know very soon. And we understand that this q term which is nothing but h cut square by 2 m a x 2 it is a function of x t and rho why because a is a function of x t that is why it is function of x t and I have this a term a is nothing but square root of rho. So, that is why q term I have introduced this q function this q function is a function of x t and its density. I will rearrange this equation minus v plus q now we will take the position derivative of this entire part if we take that plus 1 by 2 m is going to be minus position derivative of v plus q v is the potential term we remember, remember that So, from here we get this is partial derivative plus 1 by m this is going to be ds this is this is 1 by 2 m and this is going to be 2 this and then
is nothing but minus v plus q. So, this 2 2 will be gone and I get back this equation and we have already understood that this d s d x equals m v that is the velocity we get local velocity or Bohemian velocity this is called local momentum. Why it is local momentum? Because this is a momentum represented by the particle for each individual initial position coming from the initial distribution. So, if we do that local momentum and we can take the second derivative and that is going to be m dx. So, we have to use this because this is a term which we have here. So, we are going to use this one here and as a result another thing which we have to do here is this one one can write to be equal if if both mixed second order partial derivative are continuous around every point on the x axis. So, as long as s is continuous function we will be able to write down this one. So, if we write down this one then what we have is this this is nothing but time derivative of and we know that this is related to momentum. So, this is going to be m v which is time derivative of this. So, we have now this term evaluated we have already evaluated this term. So, we can plug that in this two if we plug that in we get back a simple equation like this. minus v plus q. So, this part is velocity v, this part is given here and this part is given here. Now, because velocity is a function of both space and time. Why? I have showed already this 
if this is the initial distribution function then these are the possible positions I have for the particle anywhere it can stay. But at the same time I have to mention here that although there is a possibility of the particle staying anywhere in this, but there is a mean position also that is given by expectation value. So, those are the standard interpretation of quantum mechanics. Here we have this possible positions and each position will be now undergoing some motion and this motion is represented by the quantum trajectory. So, this velocity in the end depends on its position from where it is starting. If it is starting from here then it will end up with going somewhere else. If it is starting from here it will go somewhere else. So, it is de it depends on velocity depends on both space and time velocity has to depend on time also. So, because it depends on both space and time this total derivative which is not partial derivative total derivative will be given by partial derivative summation of this two partial derivative. and that is exactly what we have here. And this dx can be represented as v d t that is the displacement you will have or by this mathematical trick what I get is the total derivative the total time derivative of the velocity I get and that can be represented by summation of these two partial derivatives v dv dx and that is exactly what we have here. So, this equation can be simplified as follows is going to be m total derivative with respect to time equals minus v plus q this equation we get. So, what it suggests if it is it, if it was a classical particle moving under conservative force then we write that force which is nothing but m dv dt is minus gradient of the potential that is the way we write. So, this is the classical force equation. And in Bohemian mechanics what we get is this equation which is very comparable very close to the classical equation except for the fact that I have now additional term which is q. So, it is not just the potential there is another potential which is introduced and this part is called quantum force dq dx this part is called quantum force. So, what it points out that an important information here is that if a state of a moving quantum particle is represented by psi x t equals a x t e to the power i by h cut s x t trial wave function where a and s a and s are 
both we are considering real, then A gives me probability density of the particle at a given time. So, this is related to the probability density. On the other hand, S function, this gives me the local velocity. or Bohmian velocity which is given by the space derivative and that is why Bohmian mechanics gives me quantum trajectory. So, we have pretty much come to the end of the uh, presentation, uh, this module. Uh, we have made an attempt to understand quantum dynamics with classical mechanical flavor, with classical mechanical idea. And the only difference between classical mechanics and quantum mechanics is that in classical mechanics we can draw a trajectory. And trajectory, what does it mean? It means that in xt plot, I can find out the particle position, exact position at different time. In quantum mechanics, I cannot get that information directly because the particle will be represented by a wave function and wave function itself is a delocalized function. So, what can I do? How can I get that classical idea? Uh, in the quantum dynamics. There are three theorems I have presented, Arnfest theorem where I have seen that expectation value is following classical mechanics. What is the definition of expectation value that I have already presented? Hydrodynamic formulation second theorem where we have shown that this quantum dynamics can be represented as a flow of density and flow of density solely depends on the current probability current at that point. So, if these two points if we consider and this space we consider and if the inner current and outer current are different then there will be a accumulation or decay of the probability at this region. So, this is called hydrodynamic formulation with the help of probability current. And the third formulation we have shown is Bohemian mechanics where we are assuming that the wave function which is supposed to present the superposition state, but I am intelligently selected a particular trial function for that kind of evolving system time evolving system and then plug that in and I am getting a local velocity. And in addition to that, I have some additional information which is related to the quantum force as well. What is the meaning of quantum force? Those are the topics which will not cover in this, uh, in this course and we will not much discuss about the Bohemian mechanics except for the fact that we will be presenting. Um, uh, translational motion, uh, free particle motion, the behavior of a free particle mo motion with the help of Bohemian mechanics is that is the only topic which, which we will cover in this in this course. But it is an open um, topic and there are many terminology which are used very frequently hidden variables those things will not present here. So, we will end this um, module, I will see you again for the next module.